Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to talk about how to sell limited items and make a profit. So selling limited items can be a very good way to make Robux, but since there is a 30% fee, it can also be an easy way to lose Robux. So in this video, I'm going to try to help you guys learn how to make profit from selling limited items and not end up losing any. So my first tip is going to be to downgrade. So if you have any items that have value, you want to downgrade them. Items that have value don't sell for as much as items which are valued at wrath. For example, this space here is valued at 9,000 Robux, but it only sells for 6,400. As you can see, the value right here is 9,000. However, if I go to another item that's also valued at 9,000 and has 9,000 wrath, it sells for a lot more. This one is selling for 9,892 compared to the 6,400. So that's the difference of over 3,000 Robux. So if you're trying to sell your items, I always recommend going for wrap items rather than value items. You don't necessarily have to have big items like this one, but if you have even like Shaggies and Nubisys, Nubitax, those will work as well as this will. Honestly, I would probably even recommend trying to downgrade as much as you can. And having an item like this, you'd want to downgrade even this, even though it has no value. So going for insanely small items is a better idea in my opinion, unless you have an item that sells for a lot and has a pretty low wrap. So this is a decent example of that. As you can see, the wrap is only 1,300 and it's selling for 1,600. So that's about a 300 difference and that's good enough to sell on its own you won't really need to downgrade any more than that but this is already a pretty small item so it would probably be difficult to downgrade it anyways and here's another example the 2010 party cap the wrap is 1900 and selling for 3000 and then the next price up to that is almost 5000 so an item like this would be good to sell on its own and you won't really need to downgrade so pay attention to the wrap in comparison to the price now as far as buying limiteds goes as I say in a lot of my videos, the Rollymons deals page is the best way to buy items. So just go to Rollymons and then hit the deals tab on the top of your screen right here. And then just sort by best deal. Here you can get all different kinds of items. You can get projected items, value items, wrap items. Usually what I'll do when I'm trying to buy items is I'll either try to buy projected items or I'll try to buy value items. So when buying value items, you would want to go for between 35 to 45% deals. If you get a 30% deal, that's pretty good too, but it's not obviously not as good as 35 or 45%. And then after buying a value item, you can always just downgrade and repeat the process and keep making profit over and over again. If you're interested in buying a projected, all you have to do is just filter for known projected and then buy one of these, flip them, hopefully for more than you bought it for, and then you can sell those items. That's another method that I use a lot. I'll try to buy projected. Usually I'll go for 75%. So if I find something for 75%, I'll buy it and just try to flip it. I also don't recommend going for projected that have a high price like this one, which is almost at 5,000. Usually I'll try to get something for 3,000 or lower. If you find a projected for cheap, even if it isn't the best deal, you still might want to go for it. For example, this one right here is only a 67% deal but it's only 2,250 Robux, so it might be worth going for. Or even this one right here, which is only 1,300, and has a wrap of 3,500. I really only recommend people who have a lot of trading experience to try to flip projected. If you're new to trading, it might be a little bit more difficult for you, but if you are willing to try it, go for it. It's a great way to make profit, and I would recommend it to anybody. And after flipping your projected, you could just sell all the items like I'm doing right now. I already sold one of these items and I'm still trying to sell this one. I usually just always go for the lowest price. If the item is selling below wrap, then I'll just try to trade it off for anything else that I can sell for more. So here's an example of that. This item I have the shady business hat is selling for 4,100, but the wrap is 4,500. So I'm going to try to see if I can downgrade it or trade it for anything else. Even if I lose wrap, it won't be a big deal because I'm going to be able to sell it for more since I'm not really going for wrap and I'm just going for selling price. But when selling items, good demand is still always the way to go. Because if you have a good demand item, it's going to sell a lot faster than an item like this that isn't great demand. Even though you are going for good demand, like I said before, you still don't want to go for value. And as you can see, I practice what I preach because I sell a lot of limited items. Just in the past couple of weeks, I've sold a ton. So I definitely do recommend trying to sell limited items and make profit this way. 
It's a good way to make profit, but it might not be the most effective. There are other better ways to make Robux. If you do plan on trying out my method, I wish you guys good luck. I hope you guys do make a lot of profit from it because I know it's worked for me so far. I haven't really had any problems with it. There have been a few projected I wasn't able to flip in the past and I did lose profit that way. But as far as selling items, I never really lose any Robux from selling them. So good luck to you guys. If you need any help with any of these methods or need any extra information on them, please let me know in the comments below. I'll try to reply to everybody's comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate if you guys did leave a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.